Yeah, I got a call from a, a lovely citizen that had gone to a, a rural property and found the owner shooting the dogs. He shot three and she said, put the other seven in my car, I'll work it out later, and gave us a call. And so we picked up these just oh, two wow. days ago. The dogs were really, really filthy, really stinky. They're full of worms, fleas, covered in scabs, lots of cuts and, and lumps and bumps all over them. So I'm keen to get those checked out and make sure it's nothing serious. Come on, good puppies. In Sydney, Audrey is waiting to meet three young rescue dogs with a remarkable survival story. Good boy. Oh, look at the three of you. Come on this way. Come check out this grassy area. I don't know much about what's going on with these puppies, but it sounds very urgent. It sounds like the rescue was quite traumatic, so I'm really eager to see what's happening. Oh, it's a bit scary. Hello. Come Hello, on, number two. Boy. Come on. Lisa and Suzanne from Maggie's Rescue have brought in one-year-old Kelpie Cross siblings for general health checks and long overdue vaccinations. So tell me the story of these three. I know there was quite a dramatic rescue. Yeah, I got a call from a, a lovely citizen that had gone to a, a rural property and found the owner shooting the dogs. He shot three and she said, put the other seven in my car, I'll work it out later and gave us a call. and. So we picked up these just oh, two wow. days ago. Hey, you guys are very lucky someone found you. As a vet, I'm a big animal lover and it's really sad to hear that there might be someone out there who feels like the best way to get rid of them is to shoot them. Puppies have a high chance of being rehomed. There's so many people that are looking for adoption puppies. So it makes me really sad and angry that this is still happening. So do they all have names yet? Yeah, so we've got Raya in the middle, Raya. Wolfie, and Nero over here. Nero, they're great names. So two boys, one girl? Two boys and one girl. The girls in the blue. Girls like in it. the blue, <laughs> yeah. The dogs were really, really filthy, really stinky. They're full of worms, fleas, covered in scabs, lots of cuts and, and lumps and bumps all over them. So I'm keen to get those checked out and make sure it's nothing serious. They've been doing really well, you know, taking baby steps and decompressing and yeah. But as far as I'm aware, they've never been to a vet in their entire lives, so no vaccinations, no nothing. So we'll check you guys all over, make sure that we get you nice and healthy so you guys can find your forever homes. We might do you first, since you've come forward to me. Hey. Miss Raya. Miss Raya, I'll just grab my things and we can get started. Usually puppies will see a vet three times for their vaccinations during those first months of life. But because these puppies are about a year old, they've missed out on all of that. So a lot of things could be happening. It's really important that we check that they're healthy. They haven't got any underlining birth issues. There's sort of something quite firm there. Just under the skin, just on top of the muscle there. It could be an abscess or scar tissue um, from an injury or a bite or something that's kind of got stuck in there. Yeah. She's quite sore about it. Oh yeah, I feel like she's quite unhappy oh. about it. I don't know if that's <laughs> helping Wolfie. Wolfie, I know. <laughs> we should definitely keep an eye on it. Let me have a look at the one on your face too. You got something going on with your eye. It looks like you're, you're patient number one because you're just <laughs> so good. You can see the surface of her eye has gone all cloudy and then the whites of her eye are quite red. So that indicates inflammation in the eye and it looks like she's had an ulcer or a scratch. So the cloudiness will affect her vision because essentially it's like having a scar over the top of your eye. It's not in the middle, but it's to the side, but she can see it. We need to start her on some antibiotic drops just to make sure that it heals properly and then we can address the scarring issue. There are a few battle wounds that I can see on Raya. I think that's probably to do with her dominant personality. So I think they've got into rough and tumbles during their time in the farm, maybe fighting for food. Okay, you've also got a bite there inside your mouth, haven't you? Nice got a lot teeth. going on. Yes, a few scars on your ear, around your eye, your mouth. Oh yes, was it you? <laughs> <laughs> so we're really just getting to know their personalities. Um, at the moment they're very shy and a bit shut down because they, you know, everything's new and scary, but we can see they're going to be a little bit cheeky, I think. It's going to be two needles and something in your mouth, and then we'll give you a treat. So I'm giving the C5 vaccination, which is the standard canine vaccination. It will protect them against things like parvovirus, distemper, hepatitis, and of course, kennel cough. So we need to make sure they're up to date with that every year when they're an adult. Just gonna stick a little needle in here. 
Good girl. Good girl. They are so brave. As well as an injection, Raya and her brothers will also be given an oral vaccination. How much of that went in? <laughs> yeah, lick the rest of my hand. Yeah, that's it. All right, Raya, so now we're going to insert the microchip so that will have a unique code to Raya. So if she ever does get lost, we can search it back on the registry. Perfect. And get her home. So okay. there's a bigger needle. Dun, 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 Good dun, job. Dun, 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 Good dun, job. Dun, dun, dun. That was scary, wasn't it? Okay, Raya, you're done. Good girl. Who's up next? Shall Wolfie? we do Nero? Nero? Okay, come on in. Oh no, you want back again. <laughs> As she examines Nero, thankfully Audrey finds he doesn't have the same battle scars as his sister. Can I have a feel of your tummy? Can you turn around for me? You probably are the skinniest but the best, you no know, wounds kind of thing. Once Nero is vaccinated and microchipped. Okay, this is your microchip, honey. Finally, it's Wolfie's turn to be treated. Time for lucky last. <laughs> <laughs> He's so oh sweet. I just want a belly rub. I'm going to give you a belly rub. Wolfie is the master of chill. Raya can be a little bit spicy sometimes and, and Nero's a bit nervous, but we think that he'll come around. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is the model patient. Oh boy. That's exactly what we wanted. <laughs> Although these puppies have had a rough start to life, they're looking pretty healthy today. I'm happy with how their vet checks have gone, they've had their vaccinations, their microchips are ready to go to their new homes. So I'm really excited to see what the future holds for these three puppies. I All right, gonna because you guys have been so good today, I'm gonna give you some treats. How about that? Well, Would it take it? Like it. <laughs> I can tell you like it already. <laughs> how good are snacks? My goodness, you guys are ravenous. So, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, Mr. Wolfie. They love the treats. Save a Life are really cool and they donate 50% of their profits to Animal Rescue, which is a huge help. Save a Life has supported us through training our foster carers and our intakes team. They really make a difference. Ready? Come Let's on, go. if we Wolfie. all start walking, she might. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Oh, baby. Come, Come on. on, Wolfie. As a vet, my main job is to make sure that pets stay healthy and happy, and helping a dog with this kind of background really brings meaning to my job. It really makes the job more rewarding. It means I'm giving them a second chance. I really hope to hear that these three dogs find forever homes. Good puppies. You're looking to adopt one of these guys, you're gonna get a best friend for life. Good girl. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.